What is up and welcome back. All right, let me put our ingredients down. If you're new, that is how I do the thumbnail, that quick pause. So welcome. All right, summer is around the bend and you know what? It has been a long winter and a long year. So, I figured I'll make some drinks today, show you guys a quick, easy recipe. We're going to do a non-alcoholic version and a alcohol version and a CBD version. So, let's go ahead and get right into it. My name is Kaya. If you're new, thank you for joining me. All right, guys. So, we're going to start out with our first one. Let's do the alcohol first. And I wanted to show, keep your eyes peeled in your clearance section. Um, these are just some quick things that we're going to need. You don't need these, but they're good to have. And, um, just easy ways to spruce up your drinks a little bit. And I found these on clearance the other day. You guys know I am the queen of clearance here. And I love a good clearance section. And this is something that I could use anyways for the summer, just holidays. And yeah. So these are the little drink swords here, and you could get these. Like I said, this this isn't a necessity, but I just want to show these. So these are the 40 plastic swords count, and then you got the bamboo ones here. And these are just like your typical little wooden skewer here. And I like that they got the two prong if you got something a little bit heavier. But like I said, these are great guys, hors d'oeuvres. I mean, there's so many things. These are just really good to have on hand. So those are the called the bamboo forks. And these I thought were cute. These are the plastic heart picks. And this is the 120 count. Like I said, I just found all these on clearance and I was so pumped. So they just got a little pointer on the bottom to go through your garnish. And you got white ones, blue ones. Green, yellow, red, and yeah. And this is not sponsored, guys, anything I show. So shoot me a thumbs up if you like the video. Leave even a drink emoji if you don't feel like typing. It really helps our little channel out. And you know we do giveaways, different things. So that really helps out for our little channel. Okay. Let's get these back in here. Alrighty, and I like they come in these plastic containers. Good storage. Keep them out the way. Keep them organized. Alright, well, let's get into it. I'm going to slide you guys around here, and let's get into our first drink. So, our first drink we're going to do is, is a cotton candy alcoholic drink. Now, I usually call this the cotton candy uh, martini, but we're not using vodka. We're using a little something different since it's just me tonight. There's no point in open up a bottle. So I'm going to use 99 bananas. It's a liqueur. Like I said, in a different circumstance, I would personally do vodka, but no point in opening up a bottle when it's just me tonight. So there's little ones you can do. You can do uh, the 99 apples. This is again, 99 bananas. Uh, a really good one that I've made this with is the Parrot Bay Strawberry, and this is the Parrot Bay Rum. So these are great if you guys just do single drinks or you don't want to open up a bottle and worry about it being open, you know, getting stale or just having, you know, a big old bottle opening in the way. These are great and this is just a perfect, it's got your, you know, you don't have to worry about measuring your alcohol out or if you wanted to do strawberry banana or if you wanted to do like a liqueur in your vodka. Either way, there's so many ways that you can rest, uh, mix up this recipe. Okay, let's get right into it. So, we have a drink shaker here. You don't need a drink shaker. Like I said, this is just what I got on hand. So, a drink shaker is you've got your spigot here, and it's just easy to pour. And I got this new. Be careful with the metal ones. Sometimes the suction of the ice will make it. I had a metal one, and I was like over it. The, always just when I'd go to make a drink, it would get messy, and then I could never get the shaker off now. The bad part is, is I told you guys the other day, I have one of those ice machines and it needs clean. So unfortunately, I don't have any ice, but it's all good. My juice is cold. So let's get right into it here. And all I did was a simple garnish. Now, anything you have for a garnish laying around is always, you know, it's up to you and what you got. So I did, I had some grapes, strawberries, and raspberries, and I just put that on my little heart skewer and off we go. 
And I also brought some other cool things around that you could use to garnish. Here's some candy canes. I do a lot of drink reviews and food and snack reviews around here. So you could just hang one of these on your drink. You could even spew your uh, fruit on, depending what kind of fruit you had, if it would stay. And then your guest has, or you, has, you know, something to snack on. And it's a stir at the same time. So, yeah, candy canes are always great. And then another cool thing I was thinking the other day, this is the Mystery Swirl Laffy Taffy. And you could do, cut these into like pieces and use them as drink skewers. You would be able to have a stir and you could put your fruit on here or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Whatever you got laying around your house, whatever fruit you need to use up. Um, in this glass, I've got some orange pieces. And, yeah, so let's get right into it. So, what we're going to do is... We are going to shake our pineapple juice. Make sure you give it a good shake. And I've got a can here of pineapple juice. And again, any kind of juice you got laying around. Okay, so what we want to do, what makes this obviously is the cotton candy. So, I've got some blue cotton candy here. I've got some... Me and a friend split a bag, so I honestly don't know what flavor this is, but we're going to do the blue here. So, you want to take your cotton candy. Don't break it down too much if you can't help it. And I got a napkin down over here. So, you want to take your glass. This really looks good in a martini glass. Um, I don't know if I don't have any or couldn't find them, but... Look how pretty and festive. Wouldn't that be nice for a party? Have your glasses with your cotton candy already made up. Or you could take your cotton candy, stick it through the straw. Well, you know what I mean. In a perfect world. These are the paper straws, so they're not as, um, you know, but look. I mean, you can totally mold it around the straw and, you know, just work with it. We're in a hurry here. So, yeah, so you want to take your cotton candy Stick it down in your cup here, and look how absolutely beautiful that looks. I mean, doesn't that look... If you're doing, like, a baby shower, you could do blue cotton candy for, obviously, a boy. You could do the pink or red for a girl. Do purple cotton candy. You guys catch my drift. Okay. So, what we want to do now is we want to take our liquor... Go ahead and put it in the shaker. Again, we're going to do, I thought, since these are the ingredients that I had, again, this can totally be your recipe. And I know that you can find cotton candy in the dollar stores, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Cotton candy is pretty easy to find anymore. So you want to take your liquor that you're going to use. Again, we're going to do the bananas. We're going with a pineapple banana theme. I thought that would go good. I can get it open here. Oh, goodness, guys. Let me try and grab... Hold on, you guys. Let me grab something to get this open with. Sorry, guys. I'm coming. I'm trying to get this open. I apologize. Okay, guys, I cannot get this one open. Let me see if I can get this other one open. I am so sorry. My hands are like... Goodness gracious, my hands are totally, like, slippery. I should have totally opened these before. Here we go. All right, I truly apologize about that. So, we're going to do strawberry and pineapple, but you can't go wrong. This is what I was going to use anyways. Sorry about that. Okay, tilt your shaker here. That way, I've always said, if you have something that fizzes, obviously this don't. I just got habit. Anything that fizzes, if you tilt your shaker, you're not going to get a ton of fizz. Actually, I think this, this smells great. This might go better with the cotton candy anyways. Okay. 
So again, we used Parrot Bay Strawberry. Trash bag down here. Okay, let's open our pineapple juice. Okay. Now, it's up to you, depending how strong you like your drink, is how much juice you want to add. I'm going to go a little bit, almost all the juice, not quite. Yeah, I think I got about that much left I can fill. And, you know, add and subtract. Now, remember this. I always say in my videos, you can always add, you can't subtract. Okay, give it a shake here. Give it a really good shake. Now, in a perfect world, I definitely would put ice in this. You really want to have that good, cold. Yeah, so if you got ice, definitely do ice. I apologize. Like I said, I literally cleaned my ice machine today, and I'm running the first couple loads because I cleaned it with vinegar, you know. But Okay, let's take our shaker off. Now, this is something that you want to do with your guest. This is the moment of awesomeness. I'm going to pull you guys up here and then I can always pull you back. Now this is what you want to do with your guest. This is what the showstopper is here. Okay, so you have your glass here. Ready? And again, like I said, you know, I'm just kind of doing this. I would do, if it was a party and had guests, I would obviously give them a full drink. So, we've got our fruit skewer in here. And you've seen, now we've got this lovely, all our cotton candy is setting down here. And we're going to have the cotton candy. So, we've got our little skewer. Let's throw down there. And that is awesome. Look at that. So, we've got our pineapple straw. This is just one of the little paper straws. Let's give it a stir and take a drink. Now, depending what your cotton candy color is, remember, your cotton candy is going to melt. So, whatever color, that's going to combat with your juice. So, this is kind of like a lovely, kind of like a till. So, your cotton candy, when it melts, like I said, is definitely going to combat the color of your juice. So... Um, also you could do lemonade instead of the pineapple. You could do a fruit punch. Oh, wow. That is smooth. Okay. You definitely get that little hint of cotton candy. And I mean, you can always take your cotton candy here, put a little bit on the side. And off you go. So that is our cotton candy drink. And let's move right along on. This, you guys, is so smooth. Actually, the strawberry is what I was going to use first. This actually probably worked out the best. Okay, let's move right along here. So... For our second drink, we're going to do a CBD version of this, and this is going to be, now mind you, if you don't want to do the CBD, you can just simply do your juice, um, you could do a sparkling water in your cotton candy, really make this whatever you want to make this. I mean, this, like I said, the cotton candy is the star of the show. If you've got the cotton candy, you're ready to rock. You could do a cotton candy lemonade. I mean, like I said, the cotton candy really is what the showstopper is. So, in this glass, we've got some orange slices setting at the bottom. And then again, we did a garnish with our um, grape, our strawberry, and our raspberry on our little heart skewer here. And let's load our cotton candy in and we will get to why this is cotton candy CBD. Actually, let's do with this one, let's do the red cotton candy. So we're going to take a hunk of our cotton candy, break it in half here. Let's do our fruit screw last. 
Okay, so we've got our cotton. You know what? We're going to add the other ingredient because we're going to add mountain our cotton candy. Okay. So what makes this CBD, obviously, a CBD drink, excuse me, is the CBD oil. This is the Sugar and Kush, non-sponsored. This is the 500 milligram CBD oil. Sorry, it's just cotton candy on my hands. Just a heads up. I'm like, it's everywhere. But, um... There is different milligrams of the CBD oil. Again, there is different flavors. Check out my sugar and Kush video. And yeah, there I think there's an orange cream sickle, cotton candy. There's a pumpkin spice. But again, I'm going to use the cotton candy here. So it's got your milligrams on there. If you're new to CBD, you can really... I'm pretty used to CBD, so I'm going to do a full vial here. And we're just going to drop it right in here. I'm going to try and get it around um, the oranges so the oranges don't suck it up. And let's just go right around here. Okay. And you can use, I have regular CBD. I have um, Amaretto. I have Cherry. I have, you can just use any kind of, you've got the cotton candy here, so it doesn't have to be, just a heads up, you don't have to have the cotton candy CBD oil. I just, that's what I had on hand. So if you have just a regular one, that is absolutely fine. So let's set our cotton candy down in here and just stack it. And then we still got our oranges on the bottom. And look how festive, I mean, look, you would have that ready for your guest and look how pretty that is. Doesn't that look nice? Have that just setting in your glasses, ready to go. And then you come around with your pitcher or your shaker and pour everybody's glass. But doesn't that look amazing? Okay, I would love to have a drink like that handed to me. Let's go ahead and put in our, our fruit skewer here, our garnish. And again, like I said, anything you got is garnish. I mean, look how cute that is. You could even do your strawberry, cut it and stick it here on the side. All right, guys, let's flip this around, and we are going to do a, let's do a lemonade with this one. So we've got our cotton candy, our CBD oil, we've got our oranges. Again, you don't need the oranges, it's just kind of the fruit I had them. So I'm using Joe's Lemonade, Classic Lemonade, is what I'm going to use. And none of this is sponsored, I just want to put that out there again. Okay, ready guys? Here we go. And it's just going to melt like the alcohol. And look at that. Wow, that made like almost like a blood orange with the oranges. I wish you could see. There you go. Um, okay, so this is our CBD cotton candy lemonade. All right, and we got a little straw over here. I love to get these. These are so cheap and reasonable. The paper straws, this one's got little strawberries. Um, okay, let's give it a swirl here. You really want to get it stirred up because you don't want to, A, you, now we've got the CBD in here, and B, you've got all this cotton candy. So you really want everything to, you know, mix together and marry. Alrighty, let's do it. Look how pretty that looks. Doesn't that look so summery? Okay. That is amazing. That is super duper good. You still get the tartness of the lemonade, but the cotton candy with the sweetness breaks it out. You, again, could even put a little bit here for your guest on the side. Just to kind of, you know, it, it could look prettier, but you guys get the drift. But, um, 
All right, guys. Well, let me know if you've tried any of this. Have you had a cotton candy martini? Have you ever thought about adding cotton candy to drinks? Let me know. Are you guys going to try these drinks? I think these are an amazing. Even with kids, like I said, you can do a non-alcoholic. I just think it's so cute and so neat when you watch the cotton candy melt. It really just, it's, it's something different. And it's like kind of interactive, you know, what... What guest doesn't like to go into a party? And, you know, like I said, ice definitely makes it um, in your shaker. But um, you don't want to add the ice with the cotton candy because, obviously, as soon as the cotton candy and the ice melt in your drink, you know. But you could definitely, you know, in a perfect world, do the ice in your shaker. All right, guys. Well, let me know if you tried anything like this. Let me know if you guys know down in the comments a recipe, drink recipe you want me to try. If, you know, there's something your favorite drink. So, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really hope you try this. It is one of my absolute favorite drinks. It's super sweet, I know, but... You know, it's something for a party or a nice summer day. Have one or two here and there. And, you know, not something you want to drink every day because of sweetness. But, all right. I'm going to finish my lemonade here and uh, edit a couple videos. Chill and relax. And I will see you guys tomorrow. If you're new... Thanks for joining me. Make sure you subscribe. Leave me a like. Leave me an emoji, even if it's a drink. And I will see you later. Kaya is out.